Welcome once more to Screencast Online. I'm Darcy. Today, we're working with OneSec, an app that works like an enhanced version of Apple's focus and screen time restrictions, but with a twist. The app supports you by using breathing and redirection to build better habits and increase your overall health in relation to your device. When using screen time, you can set downtime and app limits. But I found instead of taking that as a hint to stop using an app, I often use my passcode to simply bypass the restriction. So what does OneSec do differently? Firstly, instead of simply blocking your access or giving you an easy way to access it, you're presented with a breathing interval. This visual prompt reminds you to first take a breath, get some oxygen in, and think about what you're doing. Secondly, instead of simply being a gate that opens or closes, allows or denies, OneSec offers you alternatives to what you're doing. You've just taken a breath. Now take a look at some apps you might want to use instead of watching another YouTube video or scrolling through Facebook. I'm trying to write 500 words a day, and I've added a link here that takes me straight there. So instead of getting a prompt that tells you, no, you're done with this app for today, as with screen time, OneSec gives the power back to you. You can always access the app, but take a second to think about it. Is there something you'd like to do instead? Maybe I'm comfortable with the amount of work I've done today and do want to watch a video. I can continue on and be asked to think about how I'm feeling. Maybe I am simply bypassing because I'm anxious or bored. Maybe I'm feeling sad. Now we have another layer that again doesn't stop you from accessing the app, but gives you pause to become more aware of what you're feeling. The results for me have been amazing so far. Where in the beginning, I would still be in the habit of opening YouTube dozens of times a day and scrolling endlessly for content, one sec would really help me redirect to writing out my 500 words. But now, after using it for some time, I don't actually attempt to open YouTube anywhere near as much, but instead will go directly to my writing app. So it's basically helping me build a new habit. You'll probably notice some high access attempt numbers through this video though. This is due to my workflow required to record this video. I can assure you my personal numbers have dropped significantly. In the video today, we'll cover a lot of ground, including scheduling for this feature so it only activates during the parts of the day when you need it. The pro version of OneSec really opens the app up to include many of the features we'll talk about today, such as unlimited apps, intervention customization, healthy alternatives, and app blocking. With the free version, you get a taste of blocking one app, and this might be enough for users who have just one app they're trying to break the habit of using. OneSec can be subscribed to monthly, yearly, or purchased outright for life. If you're a student, you can get an annual subscription at half price by contacting the developer with your student email. We'll leave a link below. Download OneSec from the iPhone, iPad, or Mac App Store. We'll be covering how the app works on Mac in addition to iPhone and iPad. Setting up OneSec requires the use of Siri shortcuts for each individual app you want to manage. So step one, what app would you like to use less of? Maybe it's a social media app like Facebook or Instagram, or like me, maybe you're binging too much content on YouTube or Netflix. Start with one app. We're going to use YouTube as our example. With OneSec already installed, open up the Shortcuts app, which can also be found in the App Store if it's not already installed on your device, and select Automation. Automation can be used for lots of things. For instance, if you have HomeKit enabled lights, they can automatically be turned on or off when you leave or come back home. We want something to happen automatically whenever we open YouTube. Select the plus, then create personal automation. There's a few prompts that will trigger an automation. Scroll down and select app. Tap on choose, then select from the list of apps and select done. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. 
Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencast Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencast Online member.